Hi friends, my name is Borrodante. It's time for that annual Possessed Pumpkin. Now, keep in mind, the pumpkin we're gonna paint right now, we're gonna finish it during the stream, the Halloween stream that's gonna be this weekend. So, pay attention to what you like and not like, collect your thoughts for the Halloween stream. So, I haven't looked at what we had last year, I don't wanna like copy it, I want it to be something else. And to make sure that it's gonna be something different, let's paint at least three pumpkins in a composition, like together. Dancing the Halloween dance or something like that, I don't know. So yeah, let's do it. Let's see how much we improved in a year. So the pumpkins will be all warm colors, of course. Orange with flame inside. Then the best way to make the composition of colors here is to make the background really cold. That's how they usually go with it. So let's see. Oh, I like this kind of color. So something like this. I don't know what this says yet. They're probably going to be like a village or whatnot. But right now I just want to find interesting spots. The horizon color is like this. I don't know. I always like to choose for a cold color some kind of like not just blue but slightly of a sea color, like a bit closer to green. Maybe I'm wrong about that. So I remember on last Halloween that was one of the first episodes that I painted back then in color right away. Kind of the same thing I had this year again as a revelation. So let's add some orange-ish leaves on the ground. I don't know why I made all the trees like evergreen. <laughs> it should be mostly like naked trees. Trying to stay as messy as possible. Okay, I don't want to work too much on the background because we haven't placed the pumpkins yet, so they'll probably cover most of it. Okay, let's see. Pumpkins. Let's start with kind of a pale and dark color to shape them up. Okay, maybe a bit darker because they have to have all the flaming colors inside of them. Yeah, I like that. Alright, this looks legit to a certain extent. <laughs> All right, so these pumpkins, they shouldn't be all the same. I remember last year it was like a spider, spider legs pumpkin. This year one of them will be spider legs. The other one, I think it should have like octopus tentacles. And the third one, I'm not sure, maybe like human legs or something? More like human arms, I guess. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> so let's see. Let's do the octopus. No, I know, one of them will be spider legs, but the other one... Let's use the concept of the possessed egg and actually make limbs out of the pieces of the pumpkin. Yeah, that will be more fun than just human arms or something. So I guess this pumpkin will be... like closer to us, maybe. And it's all gonna be broken somehow. I don't know yet. <laughs> Just important to make a mess. Yeah, and this one will be... The spider legs are like super slim and long. And the pumpkin is standing on them like... Like all like this something something. So there was no need in these details in the background. They don't make much sense at the moment. Maybe we'll add some of it later. Right now really doesn't make much sense. First we position the characters, then we add the thing. Because this is a character artwork. And a background is a complementary thing. I think last year we were starting with a background. Yeah. So let's add those bright, flamey faces. So this one should be really creepy and looking from the bottom and like a eh, really long and creepy smile. Also, I think we'll add like actual teeth, not just 
holes. And this one should be all crazy, like... Attacking you, like a ghost creepy face. So, let's see how that will go. So, this pumpkin is broken from the bottom. The face, the body, is only the top half. The bottom half is split into legs. So, let's have, like, orange magma. Or just its own goo, whatever it is. Spilling from the bottom. And this will really improve the effect of being a terrified face like that. Also, nostrils. And the third one should be like all looking from the top and being all like that. Terrifyingly majestic. Now let's add brighter color of this flamey insides. And now for this one. Okay, how do we go about the limbs on this guy? No, I don't think it's gonna work like that. Maybe some kind of wings? Obviously, right? It's on the top, like in the sky. <laughs> Trying to make sure that the values are decent. We need a good balance between readable values and expressive bright colors. This one grows to be my favorite so far. Let's fix that. Not by ruining this one, but by making other ones better. So the color of a brightly lit tentacle, which is violet and the flame is orange, so it gets like pink-ish. Even close to red, I guess. Maybe even closer, because this red flame color is very saturated. Basically, everything that's lit by it is gonna be almost of its own color. Tentacles are gonna be the hardest thing to search, but I really enjoy the colors so far. Nah, they shouldn't be that green, these tail things. A bit paler and warmer, they're kind of dry. I'm like so feeling competitive right now. I want to do better than the last year. And I feel like because of that I'm too, like, working too fast and I'm failing. Calm down, man. So cool. Hmm. We're still gonna need some kind of limbs at the bottom, I think. So this pumpkin should probably have like a double tail as a bat. So let's add some translucency on the wings from the backlight. Some rim light surely will work well with this kind of dramatic scenery. Some happy colors for the background. Not that much, though. Like, shouldn't put it so much on the left, like, closer to the center. Let's not forget to push the values to the actual darkness, because right now pumpkins, like this one, looked a bit too flat. Okay, time for a tiny break! <laughs> Okay, so right now, pretty cool. I'm not sure if the bat pumpkin needs limbs, like some kind of just claws like this at the bottom. Will it be actually better if we do that? Okay, I took a break. I need to slow down, seriously. <laughs> I don't know why there's kind of this competition with myself going on right now. Okay, let's see what do we have here. It looks really overwhelming. So let's bring some light on the ground from the pumpkins and all. I'm gonna work for a little while with the composition all together right now. Hmm, let's add the moon behind this pumpkin like this. It will look cool and will play pretty awesomely with the translucency of the wings. 
Yeah, I think I like this idea. Now, some more of that translucency. Checking out some Bat Wings references while looking awesome in the hell lights. So I think this color actually gonna work. Because Bat Wings are really translucent. And amazing. And please never let this kind of thing be anywhere near me. Or I'm gonna scream like a little bitch. Cool, couple of awesome holes in the wings. That looks kind of cool. These cool looking stretchings from the fingers really makes it look awesome. Getting close to something cool. So stream is gonna be somewhere around weekends, like maybe October 30, somewhere around that time. Because I remember I promised to have some kind of Halloween stream. So this is gonna be a good thing to start with and end up with. <laughs> Man, but the flying pumpkin is really cool right now. Okay, so I'm about to wrap this up now. The rest is for the stream, I think. Mostly we need to work on the tentacles and on the material of the pumpkins. So that would be an interesting thing to cover. Or maybe we can like search all kinds of different pumpkins at all. I don't know. Everything can happen in this crazy world. So yeah, this is it. Done for now. Tell me what you think, now or later in the stream. I'm not sure when exactly it's gonna be, probably, probably on Sunday. Because that will be probably a very near future from the moment this video will be published. So yeah, we don't happen to have much of a choice, do we? <laughs> Man, I love the flying pumpkin. It's so awesome. That's because I used the reference. We should look up the references of tentacles and all that to paint an awesome octopus pumpkin and also references of real pumpkins to paint this destroyed pumpkin. Yeah, there's gonna be like a reference thing going on. Okay, so I thank you for watching if you did, I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe, tell a friend. Eat all the sugar. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. We have to follow the will of the Black Goddess. Yes, all the innocent souls will be ours. <laughs>